So this problem is on compounding periods. The problem statement reads, the need for a large capacity water supply system is forecast to occur four years from now. At that time, the system required is estimated to cost $40,000. If an account earns 12% per year compounded annually, the amount that must be placed in the account at the end of each year in order to accumulate the necessary purchase price is most nearly A. $8,000 B, $8,370, C, $9,000, or D, $10,000. So to solve this problem, let's write out what we know. First, I is the interest rate, and in this problem, that's 12%. Also, N is the uh, length of time, and that is four years. F is our final amount, and in this problem, it's $40,000. And our unknown is A, which is the amount of each payment, and that is unknown. So if this problem didn't have interest, it could be solved very easily. You would take the final amount of $40,000, and you divide it by the, num the number of payments, which is four, and you get $10,000 per year. However, this problem has interest, so we can immediately eliminate D. In order to solve a problem like this, we need to use the formula F equals A times 1 plus the interest rate, all raised to the amount, the amount of time, minus 1 over the interest rate. And this, prob this equation is used for problems where we have a set payment that occurs regularly where interest is accrued on that payment. So plugging in what we know, we know that F is $40,000, A is unknown, then we have 1 plus the interest rate, which we'll do in decimal, the decimal equivalent of the interest rate, raised to the amount of time which is 4 years, minus 1, all over the interest rate, again in decimal equivalent, and we can solve this problem using basic algebra. When we solve it, we get a value of A equals $8,370. So here, B is the correct answer. Now sometimes when you see a formula like this, it's a little confusing to know if you're doing the problem right. We have a way that you can check this formula to make sure you're doing that right. And you can do this by adding up all the payments and the interest accrued. So to do that we use the formula A is 1 plus the interest rate raised to the amount of times that it's compounded. In this problem we have four years. Meaning we also have four payments. And your first payment in year one will be made at the end of the year. And because it's made at the end of the year it will be compounded in year 2, 3, and 4. So for the first payment, n will equal 3. And for the second, n will equal 2. The third, it will only be compounded in the fourth year, so n will equal 1. And the fourth payment will not be compounded at all, so n will equal 0. So, plugging in what we know, we know the payment is $8,370 times the 1 plus the interest rate raised to the amount of time and we do this for each of the payments. This is the second payment. This is the third payment. And this is the fourth payment. Adding these all up together, we get $40,000, which is our original amount, proving that this formula is correct.